Hi folks and welcome to another edition of the Linux Man Cave. Today we're going to show you SSH and SCP. Some scary command line stuff. You're in the terminal and you need to get a file from another machine or you need to connect to another machine to kill a process or look at some files. That's what we're going to do today on the Linux Man Cave. So I've got a machine set up. It's a, a virtual box. It's my uh, new L LDC Buntu Unity 64 spin. And I've uh, created this distro, this distro spin for the Linux distro community. And um, so I've got a machine sitting here. I'm, you can look at its IP address. And it's local to me, so it's 192.168.0.21. And I need to connect to it from my machine because I've left some files on it. So I'm going to grab uh, the mumble SVG icon and I'm going to drop it into a folder on my machine. So first of all, let's go ahead and secure copy and I'm going to pull it to my machine. So when you pull you have to specify the name of the machine you're pulling from first and I'm going to use a username and password of Ubuntu because that's the account that I have created here and then it's machine 192.168.0.21 and I'm going to pull the mumble.svg file so I say mumble.svg and then where do I want to put the file? I want to put it right into my home directory because I don't have a folder created for it yet. So it says, hey, I don't know who you are, but I've got a, uh, a fingerprint from this machine. Would you like to store it? Yes. And now it wants the password for that account. And that account's password is Ubuntu. And it copies the file over. So let's say I've made a directory beforehand and call it pictures, icons. Well, in order to do... Well, I already know I have a pictures folder, so making an icons folder shouldn't be a problem. There we go. And now I want to drop this, instead of in my home folder, I want to put it into the pictures icons folder. It's going to ask me to log in again. Ubuntu. And now I should be able to go to the pictures icons folder and I should have a file in there called mumble.svg. There it is. So that's one way that you can do it. You can actually pull from a machine to move a file. You can also push a, a file to a machine. So in this pictures icons folder, maybe I wanted to I want to push the shared.tar.gz file in there as well. So I know the IP address for my machine, but I'm on this other machine. So I'm going to push it with an SCP and when you push something you name the file first shared.tar.gz and then I'm going to push it to my account at my machine and then where do I want to push it to? I want to put it into the pictures slash icons folder and it says hey I've never connected to this machine before but here's a fingerprint do you want to accept it? Yes and now it should ask me for a password. I type in my password and then the file gets transferred. Now back over on my machine I can do an ls-l and I can see that the shared file is already there. It's a little bit bigger than that. Oh, no, that's it. Okay, so that's how you copy between two machines with secure copy. Now maybe I want to log into this machine and delete this file from this directory because I no longer need it but I'm on my machine so I'm going to secure shell into Ubuntu at 192.168.0.21 and it's going to ask me for a password Ubuntu I've logged in and it tells me I'm logging in from workstation well it tells me the last place I logged in from and this is uh, I logged in from my workstation before so now I want to remove the file shared dot tar dot gz. I don't want it to be there anymore. Do you want to remove a write protected regular file? Yes. It's gone. It's not there anymore. I made a mistake. I need that file back there. 
well, I put it in my uh, pictures icons folder. So I can go ahead and pull it back. And we're pulling a file from a machine. So we give the machine's name first, Chris at 192.168.0.231. And I need to put it right back into this directory. But the file is located in the pictures icons folder. And it's called shared tar.gz and I need to put it right back here so that's the folder I'm putting it into and it asks me for my password I type it in and please please get the file back I need it back desperately there it is problem solved so that's a quick look at SSH and SCP there's some two cool commands that you can move files around um, remote into machines if you open a, a port on your firewall that points back to your your Linux box and you got to make sure that you have open SSH installed uh, and running uh, on your machine at home and then uh, create a firewall port forward rule I would not create a port forward rule for the standard SSH port which is 22 I would make a specific port number pointing to your machine from the outside hide it somewhere like 9999 um, 8181. Just make sure it make sure it's not the standard port 22 one. Well, that's it for the man cave. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, comment, subscribe. If there is anything that you want to see done, please leave me a message, and I'd be happy to show you.